Hey guys, Passive Gaming right here right now. Bringing another coaching session today with Wizard, who was uh, GM last set, 50 LP off Challenger. So you definitely get there this set. Welcome, Wizard. <laughs> Hopefully, hey, thank you. So let's see. Uh, so right now it's like Platinum, Diamond, yeah. So that's somewhere around Master GM. So what do you start and why? Quite frankly, uh, I'm going to be honest. I tend to like... It's either two things. One, I th I, have, I have like three things. Uh, one, I like a, an item that's good on the unit, right? That's like the first thing. Uh -huh. Um, so if I two star, I can still use it. Yeah. The other is I might like go with a defensive item to be really flexible, um, uh, like chain or belt, or I honestly sometimes just take any random item and make it work. I think right now, recently, I've been going rod because I feel like rod pumps aren't contested. But I think here I went bow. Did I? I actually don't remember what I went. To. Uh, I tend to also sometimes just go random, just because I feel like I'm able to play with anything, and I don't really have a preference. I could, like, make it work, if that makes sense. Um, you can make it work. That's kind of true, but uh, that's like making, making like, setting yourself up to fail, or, like, making it harder for yourself than you than you have to make it, right? Yeah, that's fair. That's like, fair. yeah, like, if you watch, I don't know, for me, like, basketball... Yeah, NBA players can, like, jump behind the backboard and throw the ball over the backboard and score. Do they want to do that every single shot? Probably not. Like, yep. if you can have a layup, take the layup. Don't, like, throw it from behind the backboard. So, like, if you can get, like, every game, if you can start... Okay, so you said your favorite defensive component, like, pick one. Pick armor, for example, chain. And offensive component, like, rod. And like always go rod and always know why you want to go rod, what items you want to make with rod, what units use those items well. Yeah. And then so here like, I think I do. Yeah. I here I go rod because of what I said before. Like um, I feel like a lot of rod comps haven't been contested a lot in my games. Yeah. So I'm thinking if I have that like because everyone's playing young right now, right? So yep. I'm like if I go rod, I can go lux or even like like uh, I've been trying to experiment with seraphine and innovator carry. Yeah. Which I feel I've had mixed results with. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. But, like as long yeah, as you cool. know and okay, so but what are the what is a good rod item you want to slam? Ideally like before before two one or on two one. And who can use that item? My okay, so I've actually been like doing this a little bit. Um initially, um my plan was I wanted to experiment with, pl with playing a lot of seraphine carry because I feel like there's at least some potential. Um, and then I realized that my, my plan was I was going Ziggs, my item holder. Uh, the problem is Ziggs fucking sucks. Yes. So I switched, yes. To, T <laughs> so I switched to TF and I'm like, oh, never mind. This is actually good. So my plan was basically I, I, I prioritize if I'm doing that kind of thing. Um, I prioritize actually Shojin and Death Cap for Seraphine. Okay. Um, that's been generally my... Yeah, it's a little weird. I've had mixed results with that. I'm not sure how good it is. I don't think it's awful, but it hasn't been... It's still up for debate. Uh, but that death, was my plan, like I for agree, a while. like death cap is good because the healing part can't crit, so death cap is, is cool and yeah. Shojin always good, yeah. That was my general plan. I, I didn't do that this game because I ended up hitting a lot of other things, but that was my general plan But like okay, so when you get a rod early, what do you wanna like if you don't get another rod, like what are you willing to slam and who are you willing to put it on? That's that's the Um Whatever I hit. Okay. Generally, whatever yeah. it, the best the best thing I can the thoughts I have is each other I can. Okay, okay, okay. I guess you go you go for feel. I I, I usually like. Uh... Actually, not. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. I, yeah. I, I want like, to hit. A... Plan these things yeah. out. I usually plan these things out. But if if you can go for feel and just do it on the fly, that that's fine. But I prefer like I planning everything out. Yeah, I, I'm very, I'm generally, it's not even really feel as much as, I'm very good at, like, making very small logical decisions in a row. Like, I'm generally, like, I am, ex like, I will say my biggest strength is just, like, raw logical thinking skills, I guess, is, like, my strength of mine. So I don't tend to worry about having perfect items. Like, I think GV8, like, when I'm playing at my best, I feel like gv is a good equivalent who just, like, more recklessly slam stuff. Yeah. That's, he's generally my biggest, I'm not as good at him, obviously, but... He's like my archetype, like he's okay. TV, if you know what, if you know what I'm talking about. But I like I mean I think if you wanna if you wanna improve and you wanna make it easier for yourself, just yeah. plan these things out. Like I have lists of 
different rod items, different, different bow items, different sword items, armor items what, that I want to slam, and units yeah. I want to put them on to make sure that I have a good early game. Like, the early game is important. Obviously, like, it's easy to pivot yeah. into, like, uh, mid-game, late-game carry. But early game knowing, okay, so if I get a... If I get a jeweled gauntlet, the best user is probably TF. Mm. And just, like, yeah. knowing, okay, so I'm getting... I have a TF, I have the jeweled gauntlet, let's go. So that, mm. that's kind of what yeah. I meant. Uh, and, and as you're running, you should always uh, run through. That's a minor thing. Because, like, you're kind of, like, running all over the place. I, I, what do you mean run through? Okay. So say you want this sword, right? Uh huh. You see yeah, how, the, how one of the guys is like that guy's going down already. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, what the hell is that? Like instead, you should have just like high tail, high tailed it, all the way to the other sword. Like without oh, even yeah, knowing what, yeah. without ever, even knowing whether you got it or not, just running from one sword to the other sword. Oh, I see. So you go through and not. Oh, so you always know if you hit it or not. Oh, okay. Like even like you just run and even if you, like if you either you you should have sound on so you hear the the small no, do, like ping thing, right? Yeah. And you're just running towards the second best item, like towards the, your okay. second choice. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I I miss what you're saying. So you want to make it like a diagonal thing, right? Like, yeah. So you always know if you hit it initially, and then you can react. Whereas where I, the way I did it, it was like, did I hit? Did I hit? Oh shit! I did. No. I yeah. Hit. Yeah, I get your saying. So you're just like oh, yeah, running. Right. You're just running through the item, and you're running towards your second pick, for example. Like right away, because I think I think you could have had this sword had you just gone from that one to this yeah. one right away. No, I completely agree. I just I, I get what you're saying. Yep. Awesome. And I just went the rod on quick. Yeah. I personally prefer bow. I've tried rod as well. I haven't had much success with rod. Yeah, I, I I started to realize that like the, the comp I was going for was not simply consistent, but this was when I was trying that. Is I guess when I was like semi experimenting. Yeah, that's fine. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it's, I definitely play off the snare. For sure. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Wow, okay, that's a bit of a high roll. Yeah, I got a lot of gold here. I think I end up picking the um, Garen and the... Uh, I'll the fruit. I, I end up selling everything for gold anyway. I think they didn't pay a lot of... Anyway. Um, yeah. Here, I would prefer the Poppy over the Garen. Really, why is that? Because you have two bodyguards. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my thinking was... Oh, you know what? That's wrong. It's because I'm never playing Cho'Gath. Oh, I know what. Okay, so the reason I, I, I screwed that up is because I'm thinking, I have Academy and I have Bruiser. But then I forget that Cho'Gath is the fucking Colossus. I'm never yeah. playing that. You're never playing... So I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm never playing that. I, 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 I messed up. So I wasn't thinking about that. You can... Like, you don't want Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is usually a bait. So you yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just realized um, it. I, I wasn't thinking Wait, you had you had time. Did you have wait, let's see how much time you actually had. No, I did I think I just completely spaced out. Like I just forgot that Chogath is never a unit I'm playing. Oh I actually ended up oh. Like, oh yeah. I end up I end up realizing that I think and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm never playing this so I'm talking about. Never mind. But then you I you, you saw the Ilawi, which is uh, a bruiser and also a mercenary, which I like keeping. But yeah. Oh yeah, I, I guess I should have sold the choke after bought out. But. And you didn't like you didn't have enough time to scout the mutant trait. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's another thing. I just go back mm -hmm. over here. Where are we? Okay, there is no mutant. Okay, so there is no mutant. So you couldn't have scouted. Yeah. Yeah. But you could have scouted. You could have scouted here. For choke after, yeah. For I the. Think I just, I just the mutant trait. Like, knowing what the mutant trait is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like no, a minor not. thing, but like, yeah. You don't you don't know what it is, so... Like, if it's if it's um, the reduced mana thing and you have a rod, it's freaking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Just to go... Yeah. Mazahar. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. So yeah, I was the Cho'Gath is like, whatever. Um, and so here, here was the first part where I saw this. Okay, I think... Wow, okay. I saw... Well, I took it, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, I think pausing here is good, because I look at these and I'm like, there's no play here that's just specifically correct, right? 
And this is where the game starts getting weird. So I'm like, nothing here is just... I don't know, but it's like... I guess I tend to look at games as like... You put yourself in a position to where failure is impossible. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I look at this and I'm like... None of these do that. And I'm just like, I hope the socialite spot's in a good spot. Because the featherweights, like, falls off so hard that if I don't high roll early, I could be hyper down a, a augment, basically, right? Social and then so small is like, I'm not fucking playing Gordon, right? And then um, socialite is like, I, I guess I just took that. Was that correct? Because I feel like this was just so weird where I'm like, none of these were really good. I, I feel like low roll is really hard. Um, I mean, this is kind of a low roll. Uh, featherweights are kind of okay early. They're not, like, it's not terrible early. Yeah. Attack speed and movement speed. I mean, movement speed is irrelevant, but attack speed. And, again, what I would do is I would, uh, see where the socialite hex is. Yeah, I should have scouted, but I guess I figured that, like, I guess I just didn't consider it an option, because I'm like, if I don't upgrade my units early, I've just wasted an augment. Whereas at least I could maybe... I guess I figured it's, like, really obviously the least risk thing. Yeah. Because like, even if it's... Like, I figured, like, even if I do take it, even... So, like, the socialite hex has to be in an awful spot for it to truly be a waste of an augment. Whereas at Featherweight, if I don't upgrade my, my one stars early, I just lost them, right? Does that make sense? So I guess that's why I'm explain why I didn't scout it. Because I it, figured, like... It does make sense, but, like, the... Like, the macro, the bigger play means, like... You can roll a little bit for Featherweights, right? Like, really? you shouldn't really look, roll much on stage two, but, like, if you have a bunch of pairs and you have yeah. featherweights, it might, like, like sway you more towards rolling, which is, like, something yeah, you yeah. don't usually do, but if you have featherweights, why not? Right? That's yeah. just, like, just play, playing the augment. So, like, if you... Yeah, you, you might not hit... You might not hit two stars, but you can roll, like, a little bit of gold. It's going to set back your economy, but it's going to set you up... To win a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, I, 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 yeah. yeah. Whereas Correct. Socialite, if it's in a, in a bad spot, I mean, yeah. being in the middle back is perfect, but you didn't know that before you well, picked it. Was, it. it was actually middle back. It yeah, I know. I, 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 watched, I watched it already. And, yeah. uh, but like, at least scouting it. I do agree that, yeah. that Yordles is a complete, complete bait. This one is complete yeah. garbage. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Featherweights, there's just like, at least consider it. Mm -hmm. And there are some like, Reroll comps um, that come to mind. For example, Swain. Like if you reroll, if you reroll Swain. Like I, I'm thinking oh, of AP. Like AP. Like you can go mm -hmm. Swain, Samira, and Talon. Where like uh, it's gonna be Swain, Talon carry mostly. Right. Yeah. Like there's yeah, there yeah, are yeah. there are some options like where you can get featherweights to work using like rerolling. Or you can, if yeah, if you knew what the mutant was and you have a mutant here to actually check it out, maybe Bottom. you can go Kogma carry, for example. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So like, at least like consider like you have 45 seconds. I think the augment you're the right. augment rounds are way too freaking long. I think yeah. armory rounds were like five additional seconds. Augment rounds are like 15 additional seconds. But yeah, yeah so you have all of this time. So. Yeah, scout out the socialite hack, scout out what mutant is, etc., etc. We still don't know what mutant is. Yeah, I I, you're, I, I wasn't. I guess I just didn't even consider playing it from the spot. I was just like, I'm probably playing around playing chapters. No, like just from the yeah, but I mean, like if if mutant is uh, woodland or reduced mana or something, then yeah, I should consider it. You're right. Uh, uh okay, here, huh? You have a poppy I'm pair, just... and you have a, and you have a Camille pair. Yeah, I'm basically thinking because I have a Samira, I'm gonna try to play around for up for talent open. Uh, my items are a little weird for it, but I figured that like, like I at least have a backliner. Whereas Leona Poppy, I don't like. I guess I just figured that with my opener, it made more sense. No, 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 I'm saying you have a poppy pair, and you have a Camille pair, and you have ten gold. Yeah, I, I ended up. Uh, oh, we just play through. I would just... Uh, no, I w I, I'm saying... You... Okay, did you... I'm saying play the Poppy. So you can sell the three costs and the Garen. Yeah, I end up making gold, 10 gold here, actually. I got, I got actually one item and more gold. Okay. So that's... But that's like being re making the wrong play and still being rewarded. 
All right, so I should play the Poppy. Like now, how now. how how amazing is Samira for Rod? It's not that amazing, right? Like I don't think this board is super super strong. Like Samira isn't like it's she's not gonna win you every round guaranteed on stage stage two. But ten gold is gonna win you way more in the long run. So basically, you were saying, okay, I get what you're saying. So basically, you should do this because in the in the in the event that I get two items here instead of more gold, I will always make ten. You always make ten. Yeah, yes. I, yeah I agree. I agree. And you I keep agree. two pairs. Keep... And you keep two pairs, right? You keep two pairs, so you're like, you can't you, you can't even sell all this. You'll get to nine. So like playing the Samira here, and if you get more gold, you just keep the Samira. If you don't get gold, you can sell you can sell this stuff and you get to ten. Because making ten here and keeping pairs, like some people just play like uh, one Darius and make ten, like that kind of hurts because then you don't have any pairs. But you would have two pairs anyway, so that means on two one, you, your board probably won't be complete shit even if you sell all the three costs. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So yeah, always always play like your pairs uh, for the for the few. Wait. What? Okay, so, yeah. You have a rod. Yeah. And you sold a two-star TF. That's punished. That's punished. Honestly, that was... A, I, I realized afterwards what I did. I was like, I mean to make 10, and, I, and literally the second year, I'm like, I just sold a TF, two-star TF. I, I just wasn't even like... Yep. My brain was like... So that's yeah, why you I don't even, you don't play the Samira. That's that's exactly why you don't play the Samira. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I, well, let me ask one thing, though. If I had a sword instead, would you play Samira? No, you never play Samira. Really? You have two pairs. Why would you like you can always keep her. You're never selling you're never selling two Camilles, you're never selling two poppies. And if you have good items, you're keeping Samira anyway, but you might as well keep her on the bench. Okay. Okay, well what I'm saying is like, let's say I had a sword rod. Well, well let's actually let me uh what was I gonna say? Okay, so let's say I have a sword. Um, and I get, like, sword, tier, like, belt. Do you still sell Samira? Assuming I hadn't gotten the gold, and it would have just been that state. With the Garen and the 10 gold with the two pairs. But then you can make uh, a redemption, which is good early, and you... I think 10 gold on 1-4 mm -hmm. is just... It just gives you so yeah, much account. Okay. Like, okay, okay. As you have 10 gold, and you still have two pairs. Like, you, you don't mm -hmm. have... Like, if you... We had to sell the poppies and the camilles, or like if you had to sell the pairs and you just had like two camilles or like a camille and one other unit, but like you have two yeah. pairs and ten gold. There's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. And just like, but what? If, okay, what if that wasn't a TF? What if? What if you got a a free two star? Shit, I can't. Uh, Ezreal, for example. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to have the Ezreal than the Samira? Yeah, you're great. No, you're right. I guess I think I overvalued Samira item holder thing, and that probably cost me a lot. Because like you couldn't you couldn't just sell her. So that like that's already like, and you have an Archangel's TF two, that yeah, definitely yeah. wins stage two. So that's like yeah. already yeah. like this small thing. Like yeah, people often don't care about stage one, but this small thing already hurt you a lot. So this is like the game gave you a two star TF, a two star Poppy. And that's just yeah. a easy win streak, but no, yeah. I agree. I think my thing was I just I got weirdly dizzy by I, I didn't even realize it was a two star. I literally sold it because I wanted to make ten, and then I didn't realize it was a two star. Yeah, and then literally the second afterwards, it was such a weird thing. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. It, it was just a weird thing where I'm like, wait, that's a two. Star. I, like it was just I didn't hadn't ever like you know what I mean. I hadn't ever actually known you could even have that, so I just kind of it was an instinct thing. I didn't like, know I either. Just, Actually, to be honest, I didn't know you can just get a two star. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't even like consider. I'm just like, oh, I got ten. I'm like, wait, what? I just kind of immediately afterwards. But I get. I shouldn't have had the Samir, so I have the op. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. This is wait. Did, did we did we use our time wisely here? We. I don't think we use our time wisely. Okay. You got a scout, because you're putting like all your eggs in the Samir basket. What if there are some assassins? What if there's a blitz? So, easiest positioning is Poppy to the left of Samira, Camille to the right of Samira. That's easiest positioning. Really? Yes. 
Because that way you can't get screwed by assassins, you can't get screwed by blitz. That's like the easiest. You always, most, if you watch most uh, top players, they just backline everything. Really? Unless, you, like, what is the point of having Poppy and Camille in the front? I guess I fear, I figure it's like frontline, backline. But they just walk up anyway. Who, who does? Your frontline. Yeah, and then their frontline walks up earlier, so like I'm like more squished, and like it's how do I put this? It's like it, it feels kind of weird. Like they 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 walk up, and I there's less separation between my carry and the uh, tank. But that's okay. That's super super minor. Yes, like okay. So if they if they kill your frontline, like Samira has a little bit less time. By the way, what's the range on Samira? Three. Yeah. So, if there's not a unit right here, she's going to have to walk up. Uh-huh. Anyway. Mm. Right? So, uh, and th the thing is with, like, assassins and blitzes and everything, like, you need to protect her by having units here so that assassins target mm -hmm. one of the other units or blitz pulls one of the other units. That's really important. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, I actually used to hyper scout all the time. And then I had a coaching session from another uh, challenger player, and he unironically told me that that like I'm over scouting, and I think that's kind of fucked my head, because like intuitively it doesn't make any sense. But he's like, yeah, if you, if, it's like, I forgot what he told me, but it's like, yeah, if you're spending all your time scouting, um, and that's how you're gaining elo, you probably can't reach high elo anyway. And I'm like, I don't, because I used to literally scout like the full board twice almost every turn. And I stopped because literally that guy kept telling me, yeah, you shouldn't worry about scouting at your elo when I was like mid-high DM. But you're, I you're aiming to be like the t at the top, right? So you should play as the top. And Yeah, I agree. And like, like I agree. Uh, not to disagree with his point, um, you should scout when you're not doing anything. So like, yeah, here agree. we have 30 seconds. We buy the poppy, we buy the Warwick, put the poppy in, we get dizzy with the Warwick or the Camille, and we're just like, fucking around for 20 seconds like th yeah, this totally. this is yeah there you go this is time where you can scout. Yeah, I didn't, I, yeah, I but you can scout every single board using the hotkeys right you scout every single yeah, board yeah, yeah, yeah. and you figure out if there are assassins or blitzes like here yeah. there's literally nothing to like there's nothing to do so scouting is like the most value mm -hmm. so like yes if you're thinking about slamming items if you're if you're rolling or something obviously you don't scout but if you have nothing else to do Scouting gives you the most value and gives you the most, like, yeah, information you can use. Yeah, agreed. So that's like, that's like a minor thing. And then, yeah, this is, this is fine. As we talked about the positioning, like, uh, your unit's walking up, their unit's walking up. Um, also, like, another, another small thing, you kind of want to, why you want to scout is what do challengers do? What do you mean? Like they get attack speed. What and is then it? If they, they after, get the, after what they get high speed after takedown, right? Yeah. So having these units split up, that's not good. You want to make sure they all focus one unit as fast as possible. Oh okay. I guess I just figured like on a on a geometrical level, this gave me the most theoretical protection for my Severa. That's why I was doing it. Like geometrically, it provides the most space between Samira and the front line. That, that was literally all I was thinking about. Okay, what is what is the best defense? Uh, offense. Strong offense, exactly. <laughs> so I guess yeah. If if you get Samira to pop off and start killing shit, I think that's way better than making sure she's more protected. Okay. So like getting a kill with with challengers is really really important. Yeah. So that's a, okay, and that's that like sense. another thing you learn from scouting. I know I'm like I'm drilling you on like the m most minor no, this things. Is fine. This is literally completely fine. Like, but, you're you're fine. But it's just like these little things like they add up. Like maybe you don't kill the, the first unit, that means you don't kill all like the whole board. No, yeah, no, I agree. Like I'm you're you're totally fine. I completely agree. Okay. So <laughs> that was the, the last thing I wanted to say. What is the one unit you don't want a full backline for? <laughs> uh, MF? Exactly. She will fuck yeah. everything at the same time. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But if you had scouted, like, th this is fine. If you scouted and you position like this, it's completely yeah. fine. I, I very much... What I will say is I scouted less than normal this game because my fucking parents kept calling me in the middle of the fucking game. And I had to deal with them. So that that's why there will be some times where normally I'd be scouting a lot and there's just nothing. It's literally because of that. It okay, was, okay, so just... Fucking, just tell me when that's happening and we'll, we'll ignore it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of time in the middle slash later of the game where I had to deal with that. That was, This was, I think, just... I, I was, like, just dizzy. I'm like, what the fuck am I playing? But, yeah, we'll move on. So you... I bet you... Okay, so that was what I was talking about. Samira has to walk up. Mm -hmm. Like, if you had the, the units, like, even in the, in the second row... Then maybe the the Vi walks towards her. Like walks towards one of these units and then some American start attacking. Okay. I like the AI is kind of tricky, like I don't know exactly how it works either. Sometimes your yeah. units walk up, sometimes their units walk up. Yeah. yeah. But if the if the Vi walks up, then it's it's better for, for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I agree. But then it's like, then I don't face this guy, and then I'm just worse for other players. It's like... but, but, I mean, like, if you scout every single guy, mm -hmm. then you can think about best generic positioning. Like, yeah, that's honestly what I do, and I think what I struggle with is I look at everything, and I'm like, I don't know where I place my units to have the best chance versus everyone, because there doesn't seem to be a single positioning that beats everyone, or, like, doesn't have a massive, like, flaw in it against someone. You know what I mean? And that's where I get a little dizzy, where I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, no, nowhere I, that I could place my units, like, just strictly wins. Okay, well, Does that make sense? this guy shits on you no matter what, so you, you might as well not care when you scout him. That's, that's like, one, one of the things, one of the ways to look at it. Hmm. So, like, you're, you care about, you care about where it can make a difference. That's, that's okay. the main thing. Like, here, you're getting shit on no matter what happens, move on. But, like, okay. if there's someone playing a, a one-star Talon, Talon's just gonna fuck up Samira for no reason if you just had Poppy in the back, or at least Camille in the back. And then, like, then okay. the guy with Talon beats you for, for free. This guy okay. always beats you. He has an MF with a, with a Jewel Gauntlet. No, yeah. Uh, another minor thing, like, if you said you want me to be strict, uh, are you keeping Poppy in the late game? Uh, oh, it's hell no. Hell like, no. Hopefully not. Um, so why does Poppy not have the rod? Because I'm thinking about making a wraith. You're, you're thinking about making what? Sorry. A wraith. A wraith. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, as I was, as I was uh, saying it, the correct answer is Poppy doesn't scale off AP, you dumbass. So that, that's, that's just for me. Um, yeah. Uh, she no, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just realized that, yeah. Wrong, wrong set, wrong set. Poppy doesn't scale. <laughs> no, I get what you're game. saying. I do that sometimes. I think, literally, honestly, also, yeah, that's true. Um, I would have slammed it if I'd made a spark, but I was like, I probably could make a rage blade off this, because I'm, I'm thinking from my board, playing AP, unless I high roll some shit's actually kind of hard. Uh, the social light hex is also weird for AP, because it's not in the corner, it's in the middle. So I'd rather, like, this place, I, I semi-force challengers, I'm not going to lie, for this spot. Okay. Um, like, I kind of semi-force your carry. There is one AP unit who loves this spot. Can you come up with the unit? Oriana? Um, no, not necessarily. Really? I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've played, like, Lux and Seraphine, basically. Victor? Victor is fine, but that's... Like, that's not happening. Or like, Vic, like we, like the spot. There's no way Lux like the spot. Right, is that actually true? That's weird. Nope. Different unit. Alright, I'm, I'm like running out of AP. Uh, Seraphine doesn't, right? Because she's fucking hard-ass cornered. She doesn't Plus, like this. Like... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I can say, so I can't do it. And Malzahar? Malzahar's fine. But like, what are you thinking about? Because I'm, I'm running out of AP units that I can think of. It's What's Heimer. Oh yeah, Heimer, true. I'm not playing Heimer. Actually, I theoretically could, but I'm probably not going to. Archangel Heimer? That's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, okay, but the problem is I have none of... I guess I have a Singe in my shop, but that's it. But, like... I've actually played Heimer, but... But I'm why, why do you think Heimer likes this spot in particular? 
I mean, it's, it's basically perfect for him. He can have protection. He could also, like, get spread alts uh, everywhere. Uh, he gets most my period. And it's also because he has only three range. Yeah, that's also true. So yeah. if you, like, I've, I've tried playing Harmer a lot, and he's not the best carry. He can work. But I realize, like, you, you need to put him, like, in the middle or, like, somewhere, like, in the third row because he only has three range. So if you corner him, yeah. he spends, like, two seconds walking up. That's why I... Oh, yeah, no, I played, three, yeah. I played a few times in an innovator. So actually, it's third row is really good. The back row here is good. Second row, Heimer is also not bad. Second, like, like big corner second row there. Yeah. So it gets a spread. Oh, it's really good, too. That, that's fine. That's fine. Exactly. So it's just, like, think about Heimer. I played Heimer, actually. It's not actually that bad. What? Okay. Camille's broken. Uh... Uh, this is weird. Like I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel. I guess it's. A, I guess it's a TF. TF is garbage. But like, if this guy yeah. had, if this guy had any other tank instead of the TF, like he completely shits on you because yeah. he just needed. He just needed MF to cast one more time. Yeah. yeah. Um. Wait, why are we keeping the TF now? Uh, I just don't have a reason to sell it. I guess that was like that was. Just Okay. I just, I just kind of bought the uh, singe. But Different. Yeah. Why don't we have the singe with with Warwick? That's that's my main question. Like, okay, TF, right. maybe TF is not that bad, but Garen, I don't know why you like, like Garen so much. Yeah, you know what? My thinking was that I, cause since I'm playing challengers, I could play like a weird four challenger two academy opener and pivot into a what's his face Yone or Fiora. Okay. Um, or mostly Fiora, but I could play some academies over a mid game. That's honestly what I was thinking about. And I guess I just didn't consider the option of Singe because I have Rod and Tear, and I'm like, you can play challenges with my Spock with the Aura item or even Yone item to be able to go Hodge and Rageblade. But with, uh, I guess you could also go Rageblade, Hodge on Urgot. It's a little bit worse in my opinion. But okay, I was mostly okay, thinking, okay, okay. Yeah, right. This is stage two. This is stage two. Mm -hmm. Getting three Chemtech in your next shop would be big. Mm -hmm. You're right. Telling me you're going to play Urgot or, or Yone, like, that's like way way off mm. like you should essentially think okay you, you're saying like how do you make sure you don't get seventh or eighths or eighths mm. um you think about this stage maybe the next stage but most mostly the current stage okay so like if you are yone maybe you get to stage four with 20 hp or like 30 hp and it's like you don't even hit for yone but mm -hmm. Getting another Chemtech, uh, which is uh, Twitch or, or Liss or Zach, is possible, right? Or like, okay, no, sorry, not the, not the three costs yet, but like Twitch. And then you have, then you have uh, Challengers, Socialites, and Chemtech. Mm -hmm. So it's more about like, what can I do right now to be strong now? Rather than thinking like, okay, so what do I want to do on stage four? That's probably a big issue I have. I'm, I think, like a bit too predictably, predictably, like, what's the word? Predictively, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, predictively. Predictively, yeah, I think generally much more for like, like I, it's a, it's that chess player thing where I'm trying to think like two stages ahead, and I think I do that a little much. Yeah. Which I and then I end up like thinking like, okay, how do I max? It's like I'll be at stage three, and it's like, how do I maximize my stage five? And then I get the stage five and what theoretically should be the maximum, and then I hit nothing, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then like, it's like, it's just... "Oh, so if I rolled on three and four, I could have yeah. top fourd, but now I'm getting a seventh. Yep, that's honestly a lot of the issue. It's like I'm thinking, like, what are the what are the maximum? It, it, it's more the maximum odds I I make something like if I roll now, then I can't guarantee that I'll hit later. Like it's like I keep thinking like if I roll a lot now. Then everyone else is gonna like not roll, and then they're gonna hit, and I'm gonna not because I don't have any gold. It, it's like the paradox that I struggle with, right? Like, either I don't roll now, and I'm risking everyone else fast, whatever the hell, and then hitting, uh, or I'm forced to roll now, and then I just like, you know, I do hit, but then I don't have enough gold, and everyone else outscales me. So it's like that's I've been getting a lot of those games where it feels like both times I, I try either or, and I fail each time. Okay, so. Um, you can scout and you can see that our people hit and tilt. That's kind of like the best approach. <laughs> or alternatively, you can scout and see how strong they are and knowing, okay, 
Like, yes, you can tilt. Like, these fuckers, everyone's fucking hitting. I'm not. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I guess I have to roll. I will fuck up my econ for this. But I will guarantee, like, a, a top six or a top five. Like, th there are games where I don't have any pairs or I don't have any two stars. End of stage two. And then stage yeah. three, it's like, okay, well, I only have 30 gold. But I have to fucking roll and I have to two star something. Because yeah, if I yeah, bleed yeah. stage three as well, it, it's over. Yeah. So I that's honestly, like, yeah. ironically noticed that I tend to top four a lot of games when I'm just fucking donking a lot of stage seven when I'm forced to compared to when I fast eight. And that just feels weird to me because it feels like, like my, the biggest trap that I get into is I'm like, I want to maximize my end game, potential, right? And I play a dude that, but then I'm like, surely no one else is going to randomly have Jinx, Jinx 2 at 5-1. And then I'm like, I, I look, I, I start scouting, it's 4-6, someone has like Jace 2, and I'm just like, like, I just get like fucking mind blown. And that's like, it's like that kind of is a thing I feel like I'm doing. I have a hard time judging when to roll, I guess, is, is, a, is a roundabout yeah. way of saying that. Like, should I roll now or should I not? What's the correct play? And it's like, finding the parameters to even determine if that's what, which one of those is correct is what I struggle with a lot. Because it feels like oftentimes it's like not consistent. Does that make sense? Of course. I mean, that, that's the randomness. But to eliminate the randomness, like rolling on seven is almost always good because mm -hmm. that gets you the top fours. As you mentioned yourself, that gets you top fours. Yeah. And you want that's top fours. Good. And if you low roll, maybe you get a fifth or a sixth. But if you don't roll on seven and you bleed like three, four more rounds, if you uh -huh. low roll on eight, you're fucked. That's it. Yep. It's over. I've had that a lot this set. A lot. And that's been frustrating for me. So that's why if you like you roll on seven and you, you're bound to hit at least maybe like at least some three uh, three cost two star. For example. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't hit your, your Yone two or your Fiora two, but you hit at least like something. And uh -huh. that'll help you bleed less. I know it's yep. really like it's really frustrating. Like you rolling, it's like, okay, well I rolled and I did my best and now I got a fifth. But uh -huh. that fifth, like the LP lost is kind of like mitigating LP loss is the same as getting more LP, whatever, like, uh, what is it? Uh, a penny saved is a penny earned. So it's like the, the same thing, like LP saved is LP earned. Like easy games yeah. where you get free top fours, they gain you LP. And the shit yeah. hard games where you mitigate LP losses is like how you kind of climb. Because if you're going up and down, you're fucked. If you're just going up, 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 and then slightly nudging down a little bit each time, but not falling all the way down, that's how you climb consistently. Yep. I agree with you. You're also going to hate this game, by the way. For this, that, okay. that, what you just said is some foreshadowing. You're going to hate this game. Yeah. Uh, and I had another thought, which I which I lost. Maybe it'll, it'll come, come back to me. You should just keep going, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a little busy here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me you're talking to your talking to your parents or something, because this is no. I just <laughs> genuinely got fucking dizzy. I'm like, what the fuck am I? I just well, I see it here too. I'm like, you sell cat, and then you play um, Warwick, right? I, that's, and then you free level, right? That was my plan. But I'm looking at that now. I think it's correct, right? Okay. Without you need to scout the guys who won. Yeah. And you need to I see if you level up, can you win? Yeah. I genuinely just... Because my thinking is that I saw... I have three Academy. I could play four Academy, but also I kind of want to... I, I just genuinely got really fucking dizzy. I was like, do I sell for 20? I just I just got really dizzy. I'm not going to stir code it. I got so fucking dizzy. I'm like, do I sell for 20 here? What I, I just... I was in between re-leveling and playing... Or leveling and playing Warwick, keeping this for three Academy, or then like... I didn't scout because I literally was just dizzy. I literally just didn't know what to do. Because I'm like, I could also maybe make what's see. Four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could have made twenty here too. I just had three options. I couldn't. One, so I two, three, four, five. I could make one. If I saw yeah, up there. but you want to keep the war. Okay. Um. Yeah, there. Like that's too too many options. Uh, but yeah, yeah scouting, seeing, a, like positioning for for other people, obviously is important. And then knowing how strong these guys are is important. And. Um, there's like some crazy plays you can do, like you can level to five here, for example. Oh shit! I don't know about that, but it'd be in place. You you can you can do that. Just like that's something something yeah. to to keep in mind that you can level to five, and if you want if you want to play like a 
a Katarina and a Garen, like, or Katarina and, sorry, not Garen, um, Graves is way better. Yeah. So, it's like, like, uh, you can level and just play the Warwick, which is good. You can play the Graves, which is, like, just, I think Warwick is probably the best because you have Challenger in. Yeah. I, I generally got busy. I was like, I had, I knew all of those three options, and I just got, I just got busy. I, I just really got, because my thinking, the only reason I got busy is because I'm like, if I if I get like a next shop with a four academy and maybe even another like this shit, I can run a four academy two challenger like mid game of some kind and be really strong. And that's like some like I was considering that. I I genuinely just couldn't decide which, and I got that's my bad. And you might not get it at all, so it's like yeah. you might not right. hit it at all. Um, right. So like I think right. the best play here is scout, and if you add Warwick in, uh, will that win you rounds? That's like the most important thing to think about. Yeah. If it doesn't, do you make 20 here? But you can sell a Camille. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I guess you can sell yeah, a Camille. I you yeah, sell I, I probably. 20. Yeah. It's too OP, right? Uh, you can. Yeah, and making 20 is, is also like. That's why I would. Because sc like scouting is so important and knowing if you can or can't win the next round. Because like mm -hmm. being at 10. And winning the round is the same as being at 20 and losing the round. Yeah, I agree. But let's see how this plays out. I get shit out. Yeah. Art. Item grab bag, yeah. So now the play is make 20. Hopefully. Yeah, and I, just, I think I, I, this was literally just me being busy. I literally was like... Because I want to keep potentially keep these. I, I just got this. There's nothing else to say. Okay, you got you got the pair. Okay. I played this. And I have the war. I, I yeah. make point here. Uh, wait, do we need to sell? Okay, is there anything worth keeping here? That's... I, I don't think so. First. Okay. Okay. I, I, do really, I really like Graves as a standalone unit. But yeah, yeah, I, I just I figured making twenty here. I just. But why not sell the graves after you lose? Yeah, I I think I literally oh I think I I sell no I level I think. Oh, I think it four challengers for now was stronger. I wasn't sure about that. But... Okay, four challengers is fine, but you gotta make sure that they're focusing the same unit, right? Okay, mm -hmm. they're they're gonna focus the same unit. That's good. But focus firing like. See how kind of they're they're slow and now they're on like turbo mode. Yeah, and then oh, that's fine. And then you could have a Graves instead of this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Which I think Graves is probably the strongest unit out of these four. I mean, I'm always playing the Poppy two next next level. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. What. So like, but it's just like not selling the unit until you have to. That's that's like the key takeaway. No, I, agree. I think the only reason I did... I, I actually agree with that completely. I understand that. It's only because I'm like... My thinking process is like, I am literally always playing Poppy 2. I'm never not playing 4 Challenger. My thinking was just like... The, 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 like I guess I couldn't imagine a world where it was even conceivable. So I guess, I, it, was, it was a little bit of laziness, but I guess I just figured that like... Yeah, I mean, it, it's fine, but like overall, like that's that's something you should think about. And no, I... I I do generally think about that a lot. Um, it was just in that scenario, I just was like, I am never playing this, like, almost never. You know what I mean? That was the only reason. I, I thought I'd, about it. I'd like, play okay. Graves 2 over Poppy 2, for example. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. So it's like... That's true. But if you get... You're level 4, you might you might get two Graves in your shop. Like, that's just... Yeah. Yeah, you're right, actually. It's not bad. You're right. I think it's a thing where it's like, I have a Poppy 2. I could play two Bodyguard. And that was like, I guess that's the the, fu the future based thinking that I do a lot. I was, uh, I think I hit a. Uh, what the fuck? We wanted, I thought we wanted rage, but okay, Hodge is fine too. Because I figured it's a little more flexible, right? That was why. I How, Hodge is more flexible, yes. So I saw Caitlyn. Level up is correct. Um, but I would like to like to scout. At least, like, the top yeah. guy. Mm, Maybe yeah. his board is completely cranked and you get shit on and you just lost, like, some gold for no reason. 
Well, my thinking is that, like, the reason I'm doing this regardless is because I can't make, realistically make 30 because I don't want to sell Quinn Pair. And I don't want to sell Poppy 2. Okay. That was just, okay, that was okay. really why. Yeah. Oh. This guy's kind of strong, too. But yeah. we still don't I mean, know. Was, I couldn't make 30 without grief. Myself, oh that was my god, reason. it's OP Mutant. Now it feels kind of bad. You're not keeping the, the early... Uh, well, not my Cho is kind of whatever, but um, what was the other one? Cassadin. Like, Mutant yeah. is super OP. I'm not gonna lie, I barely play Mutants at all, so I'm not gonna lie, you're probably right. I'm just super uncomfortable with comps. So, if I will say that, if anything, I'm generally very uncomfortable with Mutants. I just never play it. It's uh, you I know, play, it's OP. I just you play Cassadin, yeah. Kogma, and uh, Malzahar. And it can be like Mazahar carry or, or Kogma carry, but usually Mazahar carry, and you you want to do it when it's reduced mana, when it's execute, or when it's um, woodland. So they yeah. No, no, I, I agree. Yeah. I just, I just, I guess I just was. I'm super un, unfamiliar with it, regardless, and that's why I was considering it in this game. I, yeah. I definitely agree. So that's that's like another minor thing, knowing these comps, just like studying the game a little bit more and knowing all the comps. Like uh, another another student of mine, what what he does is on his Smurf, he just forces every single comp at least once, so that he has a feel for the comp. Okay. So like yeah, you can open up a Smurf or on PBE, just force every single comp, and then you kind of get yeah. a feel for for every comp. So like you're from. I'm not gonna lie. Genuinely, one of my genuinely, it's a weird issue I have. I tend to have a really hard time like understanding what the meta is. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's really bizarre. But like, I tend to have a really like how I put this. It's like what was I gonna say? So you know, like a uh, I played other competitive games. Uh, do you know? Um, did do you have any experience with like competitive Pokemon? Pokemon. Okay. Uh, yeah, at all. Like the arena one, like uh, MOBA no, game or Pokemon Showdown and stuff like that. Like competitive Pokemon. Is it like a card game? No, like actual competitive. Like, basically, I you know what? Never mind. Basically, like I was pretty high elo and competitive, and you know, like competitive, like uh, competitive, like competitive is in like legitimately like, competitive Pokemon, like not quite VGC, but like Pokemon Showdown. It's like uh, it's a battle simulator. Um, uh, it's basically just like Pokemon, but like just PvP. I was really high elo it for in a while. And like, so it's like it's like uh, you know, it's the same as this game, or like no, it's, it's a, you know what? Don't worry. Basically, I guess what I'm saying is I have a very hard time playing what other people play, and I'm really good at playing my own. Does that make sense? That's yes. what I was trying to say. If you don't have the context; it doesn't matter. So it's like I have a hard time. Like I see what other people play, and it's really it's like weird. Like it's like because I don't know. How do I put? How do I? How do I uh, explain this? It's like, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way. Like, my um, I, I'm actually a jazz pianist. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. As like a, like, yeah. So I am extremely good at like writing my own music and improvising. Right. Like I'm really good. I'm like like, well, I'm like really good at that. Cool. I'm cool. really bad at playing arranged pieces. And like that, that weird kind of thing translates to TFT, where it's I'm actively really bad. Like I, I am at my best in extremely open metas where you can improvise and play just about everything. And I struggle a lot in like metas where you have to play specific boards. And I guess it's a roundabout way of saying this is ten, tends to be why like you're saying know all the comps. I was saying like I have a hard time playing the meta because I'm really good at improvising and really good at like creating my own thing and extremely bad at playing like a structured you know meta board does that make sense yeah yeah it makes sense like uh it's it's good that you're you're, you're capable to improvise but like i would still practice the meta comps or just like practice every comp like you don't like you don't have to copy the meta comps like that's that's what i'm saying but like okay i want to play yone carry how do i build around yone I yeah. want to play Fiora carry. How do I build around Fiora? I want to play Samira carry. How do I build around Samira? Well, okay, so your solution is basically you don't have to worry about the literal exact words all the time, but you do need to figure out how to play around that win pop, right? Like, that you carry. you play the carry, and you... Like, I, I tried... Okay, like, I got frustrated. I played a game. 
I got like a fourth with a really strong board. I got destroyed by Samira. Next game, I yeah. went in. I'm like, okay, I'm going to play Samira. And I, and I played her with, uh, with a Cho'Gath and with a Scion. I got completely destroyed. I'm like, hmm, what the hell is this? I looked back at the at the how the game played. Like I looked back at the low chess of, of the game I, I got owned by the Samira. I'm like, oh, he played six Challenger. Next game I go in, I play Challenger Samira, and it works. Challenger Samira is is way better with just a Swain and a Talon. And I now I know that, and I know like I can flex Challenger Samira if I get the the units and the and the items for it. All right. And I, I just like it. so it's like okay like. What are the conditions for Samira carry? Like, four Challenger is way better than actually having, uh, going all in on Imperial. And I didn't know that. And, like, maybe you know that, but, like, I didn't know that at the time. But now I, I learned that. Not bad, but definitely, I think three, I think five Imperial isn't, I think, I think your issue, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, say my own thing, I guess. I think double Colossus is just a grief. Yeah. If I'm just being, like, I think and, that was and Scion problem, is I mean, just a grief as well. Like, Scion is mostly a grief as well. I think, Scion 2 is not bad alone. He's not bad, but Double Colossus is a complete... Yeah. yeah. But it was just like, I okay, I, I want to test this because this is what the game gave me. Okay, yeah, it yeah, is yeah. garbage. Okay, so I, I can't... Because I, I got offered a free Cho 2, so I'm like, oh, cool, I'll play Cho 2 with with uh, my no, Scion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's yeah. just like, okay, well, that's not the comp. I can't play Cho if I'm not playing Mutant. So, yeah, and it's just like you learn these things... And yeah. it's good to kind of practice these things. The amazing thing is, what I love right now, is mm -hmm. I troll a lot. Like, I spent one day trolling in Platinum 4, and I spent, like, two days trolling in Diamond in Diamond 4. Because it's just, yeah. like, you cannot you cannot drop out of Diamond 4. So, like, yeah, whenever yeah, yeah. I want to try some comps, I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm at Diamond 4, Diamond 3. I don't care. I just keep trolling. I get, like, a bunch of Ace. But I'm like, okay, I, I learn things. And then after I, that, I can climb much, much easier. You're, you're right. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying now. Thanks. I get what you're saying. I should be more willing to try out things and experiment rather than being afraid of, like, failing them, I guess is a really brief way of saying that. Would that, would that be a good summary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, especially since I think you're... Are you Diamond 4 now? I'm Diamond, yeah. I'm Diamond 4, like, 20 LP now after my last two games. So this is, like, the perfect time to experiment. Yeah, you're right. Because it's, like, that's the way, like... You need to experiment now so that when you get to Diamond yeah. 1, you're you're able to get the master. Like you don't want to start falling from Diamond 1. Diamond 4, I mean, maybe even Diamond 3, if you if you fall, who cares? Diamond 1 is kind of like, oh fuck, I was almost master. Yeah. I and mean, then, I'm, I'm hoping yeah. to be mastered by the end of like two weeks from now. Like at, at maximum, right? What? Like, I, was, like I mean, mastering was, in like was, two or three days, was, man. It's easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. I was gonna say, I thought you meant like extended, but yeah, no, you're right. And then, Hopefully. like, two or three Hopefully. days, Master, that's not a problem. But, like, then again, like, hit Master, and it's like, oh, cool. Now I have, like, more more LP. I have good players again to play against. I might as well try shit out, because I know as soon as I get to Grandmaster, I can't experiment anymore, because LP yeah, losses yeah, hurt. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're actually completely right. Yeah. So, like, it's all like, about, like, the, the macro game, like, taking advantage of the LP you, you're currently at, and kind of like, okay, so I'm at this LP... What can I do at this LP? Like, how can I play differently? Like, at 20 LP, it's... Like, you can still play 1st or 8th. Because, like... Yeah. The 8th doesn't hurt as much. But if, you, if you're if you close to... So, you were saying... Last round that you would never sell the Quinn if you lose. And you sell the Okay, Quinn. literally... I wanted to make 30... I genuinely was like, there's no fucking way I lose this. And I lost it. I'm like... I was kind of saying, I'm like, I actually lost that. What the fuck? Do I make 30? I'm like, I have to make 30, right? I feel like it was yeah. too OP to make 30. Yeah. Um, could we have positioned this better? Probably. Yeah, probably. I probably. Um, Maybe. He positioned... Oh, all of them. This fucker positioned extremely well against the Quinn because he split everything up. I mean, yeah, really, it's just Malzahar is fucking OP. Like, the, the guy did a bajillion damage. But, but. Heimer had... Yeah, I think he positioned extremely well. Yeah. I don't think we can win this actually because he, he just outpositioned us. It, it also, literally, I think Miles Harsh is fucking overpowered. The units of four costs. It's crazy. I don't even think slamming the rod could have won this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Miles, Miles Harsh is, is crazy. I think here I want, I want to try to make. Okay, oh, here's the play. Oh, you're going to hit me. Oh, man. You're going to see. Now, I have an explanation for this, 
It's the cringiest Fast 8 of all time. I do the cringiest Fast 8. I have an explanation, but... Just, just keep playing, just keep playing. Just play, just uh, no, play. no, no, I'm, I'm here, I'm like, uh... No, you, you'll see, you'll see... The explanation will make sense but, after it happens. But wait, but, like, uh, we're on 2-7. What is the mistake yes. you made here again? Not scouting? It's Krugs. You don't have to scout Krugs. Yeah, yeah okay, but I don't... Oh, not buying drops? Not putting in Graves. Putting in Graves? What? Graves over Poppy. You sell Poppy... Oh, wait, what do you mean? I'm confused. Okay, you buy the Graves, you put the Graves uh -huh. in over Poppy, Poppy isn't doesn't matter that much on stage 3, and you can make 40. That's true. If you don't get gold. No, I get what you're saying. I'm just like, you really would sell Poppy 2 there, wow. No, I completely get what you're saying. Like, I just, I figured it's Poppy 2, I... Yeah, I get what you're, I get what you're saying. That's just wow. You really think Graves is that strong? Wow. It's not gra I, Graves. No, it's not that Graves is strong. It's just that Graves is better than. Uh, I think Graves is better than the Ilawi here. Okay, so generally it's like you think. Okay, I guess my thinking was uh, my plan was to almost always try to play bodyguard. But well, then, okay, then, then like, but okay. So again, you don't have to sell the poppy. But you shouldn't play her. You should not play the Poppy. You should play the Graves or the Ilawi instead to Just have the it's option all, to know, sell okay. her. You don't yeah, have the option right. to sell her. Yeah, you're right. No, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So maybe you don't sell her, but you don't. You no longer have the option to sell her. I get what you're, yeah. I get what you're saying. Wow. Okay. Like, yeah, that know, shouldn't sure. happen. This should not happen because you got yeah, a fuck ton of gold stage one. You shouldn't get a uh -huh. fuck ton of gold stage two, but whatever. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So, okay, here, and then I got the, the random crit cloak. Uh, just, just keep playing, just keep playing. No, I'm, I, the reason I paused is like, okay. Here, you don't go for Econ. You buy you buy the Vex, the Heimer, and the Malhazar. Malhazar. Really? Really? You have Hodge and and Jeweled Gauntlet, and you have two Arcanists and an Innovator. Marl Zahar can use this, and Heimer can use this. Oh. Uh, interesting. No, like... Hodge, no, no, I, I guess what you're I guess the only reason I wouldn't have is I thought making 50 here would be too fucking overpowered. And my thinking at this point is I'm probably trying to play Fiora carry with these items. <sighs> oh, God. That's... Oh. You can th you can name three cost carries on stage three, but you can't name four cost carries on stage three. <laughs> four cost carries don't exist yet. All right, I, I guess I guess we're we're coming with a common pattern here. Yeah, they they I, don't I, exist. I, I, they don't exist on stage two. They don't exist on stage three. They come into existence magically on stage four. Okay. So okay, actually, I have I have a suggestion. Would you actually unironically lock shop? Yeah, sure, it's fine. Okay, that's what I would do. That thing, I, okay, that's that makes me a lot more comfortable because I feel like there's no fucking way I'm not making fifty. But lock and shop, is lock and shop is perfectly fine. Yeah, you you stay at fifty, right. you get all these units. Yeah. Okay, that's what I would do next time. Okay, I think I'm starting to see where, where I'm failing here. I'm definitely thinking way too much in the future to the detriment because it's yeah. Like how how strong is like you have. You have the three Yordles, so you'll get like extra Yordles, that's like some more Econ. You have the two Arcanist, and uh, you can keep, obviously you keep Camille and Quinn. And those are your five yep. units. You take out you take out Warwick one and uh, Samira one, and you play these three, and, no wait, you play two, wait, fuck, I'm getting, <laughs> you take out two units, okay, so you level up and you play these three, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I know how I play that. I think yeah. I, I I generally generally I also I also would get more. Yeah, I generally know what I'm doing correct here. Uh, so here I I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm basically playing to the future, like way too much instead yep. of thinking about the. That's, that's like generally the issue. That's a lot of my ace from yesterday. Where it's like, oh look at this! I have a one star Yone and I have a one star Fiora and I have a one star Leona and a one star Brom and I'm like playing all these one stars on stage three and getting completely shit on. And then oh, yeah. I can, you're, you're me. Yeah. You're me. Yeah. 
And I know these games that are like, okay, so these games, they feel bad. Like, even if you hit the, the Yone early, a one-star Yone with, like, other one-stars, it just, like, this board is better because you at least have some two-stars. So, like, you either play around the two-stars and then you level up to, to six here or you can go to seven here. Yeah. I, what, I, what I ended up doing was I, I feel here, I think I scout and uh, I, it's, I don't, like, I swam... I some JG on Quinn. I'm, I'm already thinking I'm going to try to play Fiora for this thing. Because I have so much money. Um, I unironically fast 8 here because I look around and I see that everyone's strong. And I'm like, there's no fucking way I can roll and guarantee that I hit. Because of how the lobby was going. The yeah. only advantage I have is a billion gold. I'm going to try to go to 8 at stage 4. And I do. I end up upgrading almost everything and I hit a 7. Um, so, like, like last chart was the game saying, here you go, sir. You can play AP here. Here's your Heimer. Here's your Vex. And yeah. here's your Mazahar. Um, roll down on on, on three two. Roll down, hit Heimer two or Mazahar two, and let them what carry you to a free top four. Or Mazahar two is going to carry you to a free top four. Heimer maybe yeah. not so much. That was yeah. your free top four moment, like two starring one of those guys. On sit, oh, like here, you roll down here, you two star one of them, and then you can go to a fast eight. With 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 Heimer, like you want a three cost two star, and that's a that's a fast eight. While well, this is a fast eighth, not a fast fast eight. I didn't hit an eight technically. Yeah, I hit a seven. But it, yeah. Right. Nice. That's good. That's what you can play next. Perfect. There's Oriana, there's Heimer again, there's Zach. I, I, I'm like, do I roll or do I not? I think I, do I scout here and see the, oh, no, I, I just decided, right? I'm like, um, I see, I mean, Gordon's, I'm like, I, I kind of just say, fuck it. Oh, you know what? Okay, so I didn't roll because I didn't have a Samira pair. Yes. That was, and I'm like, that was genuinely why I didn't roll. That's fine, but another mistake which I had with, with which I, I mean I do it myself. The other top challenger did it. Just buy the fucking Zach and Heimer. The four gold, do the four gold into XP does absolutely nothing. That does I, absolutely I, nothing. Yeah, I... Right, like you gain zero value from that having right, having you, a Zach and a Heimer. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. I do it myself. Like I do it myself, but like. Looking back at my games, looking at other games, I I know it's like, why the yeah, yeah, fuck did right. I buy XP? And I didn't buy uh, the unit. Because right. the XP no, does right. nothing. The unit can actually do something. Yep, you're right. There we go. I think I just okay. take uh, on guard here. Yeah. Oh, here, okay, here I basically did this because I'm, I'm basically planning on being uh, level 8 at 14. That was my... Fuck. Okay. Why don't you just do it after the carousel? Um, because at I figured Bodyguard would give me just enough frontline to save from HP. And I figured, like, generally 30 gold is, like... I, 30 gold is generally the gold you always want to be around. I figured leveling up for it was like worth it, I guess. I think because I was it would have kept me at 30 gold. Uh it's very close. I mean at 82 like Like the the whole the whole uh like the, the whole thinking process behind it is wrong because here you can level up on wolves to seven and roll down on seven comfortably with like 60 70 gold like, oh you're right and that's like, like that's again easy way to top four you have a fuck ton of gold you get the seven on wolves you have wolves and four one like you roll down a bit on wolves you roll down on four one and you find your comp on seven what what happens on level seven uh Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm being here, I think, so I have... Oh, so I, I realized why I did it. It's because I could also have a higher chance at, like, four costs in my shop. Was yes. also the answer. Yes, four costs magically pop into existence on level seven. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's it's, it's 15... It's a 10% increase, you know. Yeah, I'm but saying, yeah, like... It, no, no, I'm, I'm being serious about this. They pop into existence. They they didn't exist before level seven. Now okay. they exist. Now we oh, can so you're not... Okay, I get what you're saying. All right. 
Now you can say that four costs exist. So now, if you stayed at 50 and you leveled up maybe here or like definitely on wolves, you can roll down and you can hit maybe Yone 2, maybe Fiora 2. Really, yeah. My honest take was what I wanted to do was actually go to 8 here because I figured... I just had... Like, my, my thought process was that, like, I have no fucking pairs. I can't just make those come to existence magically. I guess maybe I should have rolled for Samira 2 to really be stabilized, but I guess I figured that, like... I guess I figured I'm at 82 HP. I have, like, no pairs on my board. I figured... I could go to 8 at, like, 4-1 or 4-2 and roll down. That was my plan. And nice. I figured, you, go eight on, you go 8 on 4-2 and you have 30 gold to roll. Yeah. I did that. I did that too. Yeah. I definitely did that this game. So, like, isn't it better rolling here with with uh, 70 gold on 7? Like, math like, guess... mathematically, like, 70 gold, uh, whatever, times by point. Point fifteen. Wait. Oh fuck. Check keyboard. That's like whatever. Whatever the like whatever. This is like a higher number. This is ten, right? Mathematically. I don't know what what the number is, but it's like ten. Like, rather wait. rather uh, than thirty gold times by point twenty five. That's seven. Yeah. So that's you're like right. lower expected value for your gold if you're rolling for four costs. You're right. No, you're completely correct. You're 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 completely correct. And that's like my analytical, because I'm from a mathematical background. I studied uh, management and international management and all of this bullshit. So like, I'm good with managing my money. I'm not yeah. that good with, like there are aspects of my game that, that lack, but like money is, is usually, I usually over greed money. But yeah. No, you're right. You're completely right. Yeah. So here you destroy someone. Sweet. So the level up helped. You preserved HP. Um, I think you would have destroyed him anyway. Probably, yeah. Sports and sports. stayed at 50? Yeah, probably. I even thought about that afterwards. I'm like, yeah, I didn't need a level here. Yep. Yeah, go for bow here. I I'm mean, your items... Like, right. like, okay, another thing. Another thing why you can't fast aid here, even though your gold is indicating that, is you have two completed items... And you don't know what you're going to get, which is super frustrating. Mm. You can get two Zephyrs from Wolves. Yeah. Like, Cloak, Cloak, Belt, Belt. I mean, I would just make Warmogs and uh, Declaw from that. Yeah. Or but like, Cloak, Belt, Tier, Tier, for example. And it's like, oh. Yeah. It's like, you, you, like, it's kind of tough, this game. Like, getting a lot of gold but no items... Means yeah. you have no di like really no direction. Like yes, you have. I kind of had direction because I knew I was playing Fiora spot because I had like arguably two of, of Fiora's yeah. best items. That was that was why I'm like a thousand percent playing Fiora. Okay. So I was like I had a lot of direction from that spot. Yeah. Okay. Like, I like That's good. Luck with Hodge on a mediocre unless you had a Okay. Um. What is the Fiora comp? Uh, four challenger flex. Generally, I tend to go. I I tend to go four challenger, Braum, Leona, plus like Yumi and like Jana. I end up playing Ori this game because I had clockwork and there was a lot of other shit I could have done. But like, okay, you answered my question. Why are we not getting the Leona? Because like it, it it's too expensive. Actually, it, how is it too expensive? You I can play Leona instead no, of Blitz. No, I'm, actually, wait. Oh, you know I don't because it was uh, it cost me uh, econ. Wait, does it? It no, doesn't. I'm just trolling. No. It doesn't cost no, you guys. It's because I'm, I'm trolling. Yeah. That's okay. Why. Good. Because you know you want to play Leona. You have the no, Leona. Just... You play the Leona, and yeah, yeah. No, I'm just trolling. That's it. Yeah. Good answer. Correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had another thing too where I also missed a Leona on a roll down. It's literally just I missed. It. If you see. This is where I start getting destroyed and I stop scouting a lot. It's literally the, the whole mid game is where my fucking mom called me on the phone. I had to fucking deal with that shit. Okay. Like insurance okay. issue. So there's going to be a lot of not scouting in like AFK game here. Going to be on. Um, is Blitz better than Poppy 2? Honestly? Almost. Because like Poppy 2 kind of does nothing at this point. I, I, I Also, it's because I uh, wanted to be able to be able to win and make it. Okay. 
<laughs> Let me uh, not sound too harsh. How do I re rephrase this nicely? Is your Blitz better than Poppy 2? Uh, actually, I mean, so the thing is, it, it's not. Like, you gotta, you gotta... I like, thought, my yeah. thought process was this. I play the Blitz right here, because at least it hooks something and kills a unit, and Poppy 2 is kind of, like, fake here, I feel like. And if I win, I can make 50. That was my thought process. Okay, this Blitz is extremely dangerous, and if you play against a good player, he's gonna fuck you so hard. Really? How so? Um, you Blitz a Graves, for example? Oh. Yeah, and he, okay, yeah, I haven't, yeah, no, you're right, no, you're right, I didn't even think about that. Right. I haven't, I haven't, I don't see enough text to when people, text when people start doing that, uh, and you're right, I should position the blitz not there, is I guess what I'm saying. Yeah, you should position the blitz to make sure to grab something in the corner. What is really cool, what some players have done to me, and what I realized is like, you can actually, uh, like, I, I killed myself using blitz, because I give him a free assassin, and if he makes, if he, he, like, puts the right unit to assassinate my backline with the blades. It's like so frustrating. Like I, I pull in a, uh, yeah, like a Graves or something and my Graves just disables, uh, his Graves just disables my, my, yeah, my backline. Yeah, I've done that a few times too. I guess here, I, yeah, no, I'm just going. I guess I figured that like it was, it was a weird spot where I put it here so my units could always focus who bit blitz corners, but like, like yeah, it was definitely a little bit up. Like, like there was why I did like it, if but he, you're right. I guess if he actually put the Yone in the corner, what? If he put the Yone in the corner, he destroys your backline. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because Yone is just going to kill everything, and it's like, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. thank you, Blitz. You just completely yeah, griefed my right. game. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not like Yone doesn't destroy everything anyway, but... Yeah. Oh, what? Wow. He doesn't. I mean, his, his Yone, his top sucks. His, his board's just faked. But I think if you pull the Yone, he, he could have had no, a better chance. Yeah, this is where it starts to be a lot of AFK gaming because of that. So if it's, I'm like fucking never blessing one to one, keep that play. Yeah. So this is yeah. Yeah, no, I sack, I sack a lot here to uh, roll down. Do I roll down a uh, four two or maybe I four three? Uh... Okay, cool. I so this is thirty gold. Mm -hmm. And what units do you actually have? I have a Fiora. You have a Fiora and you have a Brom and you have okay, fine. You have Oriana. I consider playing Jin and I probably could have hit, but I thought I saw my augments and I'm like too scuffed. I figured. Was that yeah. correct? Also, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, could have yeah. played the game that I had on guard, and I'm like, I'm down like a full augment, so I, I, I'll tunnel maybe a little bit. Um, so just like looking at this simple math, you have three units, and you need to play five more units, and you have yeah. thirty-four gold. That that doesn't compute. Like that You're doesn't right. doesn't compute at all. Like. <laughs> You know, 34 talking, gold is like, okay, and you have, I know what you're saying. like... No, I get what you're saying. I like, get what you're saying. What the fuck are you going to play with 34 gold? No, like, you're, you're, you don't have to tell me. You're, you're correct. You're yeah. correct. You're you correct. need to buy units, okay. and you need to roll, and you want to upgrade some units. There's no fucking way you're upgrading anything. Like, you have to hire out of your money. I actually do end up fully upgrading my board. The problem is I did it with 9 HP. No, but I mean, like, now. I mean, like, now. Okay, you have no, I, I know, I know. I, 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 I guess what I'm saying is I get what you're saying. So it's like great, you hit you hit the units, but they're all one star. But you don't hodge the lot you don't hodge the Fiora? What? I Why don't I do that actually? Yeah, I just trolled. I don't know. I guess okay, my thing was that I think Yeah, no, I'm trolling. I don't know why I did I'm trolling. Because Yone yeah, no, has healing already, but, Fiora does no, not. No, you're right, I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. I, I'm actually looking at that, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I'm just trolling. Cause you had you you're saying like I have great fear yeah, items. Yeah, no, I literally <laughs> like, don't even know. I, you know. Look, hey man, I don't even fucking know. I'm just trolling. My answer is just gonna be that I'm trolling. I don't fucking know why I did that. Holy fuck! What? Am I doing? So nice uh, one star units. Yep, they get shit on. Oh, it's great, great, great. But yeah. I got. It's like a weak comp, but everything's one star. I mean, you stayed at 20 yeah. gold, which is good. Like, you do have some gold. I 
I mean, you you want to do Star, you want to do Star of the Blitz. You don't have enough gold to like. Yep. No, you don't have to tell me. I already know. You don't have to tell me. I, I get what you're. I get two the point star blitz. Like right you don't even have anything better yet. No, you like I. I basically understand why it's wrong. Already. Okay. Like I, I basically entirely understand why it is separate this game and everything. You, you, it's. Yeah. So this is definitely not like a low roll game by any means. This is like you just throwing away the game. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're completely right. Like you try to blame it on RNG, but yeah. No, you're like you're you're right. I guess I just I just overestimate the value I would I would get from rolling here pretty hard. Because I overest but you're 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 totally right. Like ah, totally this this hurts so much. Oh my god. Oh, fuck me. This is a free top four again, which you... oh, you're right. I, I, I you're right. You're completely right. How do you top four here? I don't. No, but how can you top four right now, right here? You roll it right here? Yes. Oh, you got absurdly lucky. Like you just, I just hit everything and an insanely good timing. No, 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 else... right here, right here. There's, there's still like a top four chance. I two star my board. I'm, I'm... Kaisa. Kaisa, yes. Oh, you're right. I get, yeah, I'm trolling. I wasn't even considering that. I'm fucking trolling. Like yeah, Kaisa trolling. with Fiora oh. items. No, no, you're right. I'm just fucking trolling. I don't know. I that's actually insane. Wow. Like, I didn't see the it. game's like, oh, you're you're having a bad game. Here, here you go. Here's a no, better I'm challenger. <laughs> I don't even think I saw it or something, but you're right. I'm trolling. Here's a more reliable challenger. Do you want a reliable challenge? She's like, nah. I, under, nah. I guess unironically, I thought it's more likely I hit Fiora 2 than Kaisa 1. I think Kaisa 2. And I think that's literally why I passed up on it. That was actually it. Um, okay, I don't know. I guess we scouted. We didn't scout too much, right? We don't know how many Fioras are, are being played. Yeah, no, you're right. That's, there's reason for that. But, yeah. um, but considering our goal like that's like i like the mathematical analytical part of the game yep, yep. considering how much gold you have you are not gonna hit fiora until stage five like mathemat like mathematically you cannot like okay there's like less than a 10 percent chance you hit fiora 2 by before stage five because with 20 gold you need you would get you only get like if you roll the 20 gold you only get uh what is that? 20 gold, you get 6 shops, and you need to buy the Fiora as well. So you get 6 shops. There's no way you can get, like, again, less than 10%, maybe less than 5% chance of getting a 2-star Fiora. Alright, makes sense. That, I, I, will, I, yep, makes sense. So this is where, this is where... Yeah, and now you just get debated by by this shit. Yeah. I know. I, I saw it, Jason. There's no way I'm starting that. Okay. Well, ten percent chance. Fuck me. You get it. But it's like less than ten percent that that ha that that happens. All right. That's interesting. That's good to know. Well, it's it's like simple math because it's like there's a twenty five percent chance, right? Yes. Mm. So that like it's zero point point twenty five. And then you multiply it uh, oh, yeah, by, no, by five there's shops. Nothing. So that's, you're supposed to see, you are supposed to see one forecast in five shops. Yes? Uh, no, I sorry. Mean, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I'm doing right. You are supposed to see, uh, my bad, my bad. You multiply one, uh, yeah, it's multiplied by five. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You're supposed to see one forecast in a shop. You are supposed to see 6.25 forecast in five shops. There we go. So so basically there's 6.25 rolls before I hit your, is that what you're saying? Or like no, 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 no. You are supposed to see, in the rolls you rolled, you are supposed to see six fucking forecasts. Six oh, no. of them. Okay, yeah. And the odds of, yeah. And okay, then you have to possible. divide it by Fiora, by, what is that, like 12? Is it 12? Is it... 10? Uh, 12, but also how many Fioras are available, how many total forecasts That's are That's there? too complex, yeah. but there are there are 12 forecasts, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you divide by 12. Those are your odds of getting one Fiora. 5%, 5.2%. Yeah. 5 point... But, and, that's, and that's probably, that's the maximum, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I got, I really high rolled. You extremely high rolled. Like, you cannot expect that to happen. That should not happen. Like it, it can happen, but it shouldn't happen. So you like high rolled out of your mind here. 
Okay. I'm not 100% sure on the math. I'll, I'll get my... <laughs> yeah, you're probably, probably, probably roughly correct. Yeah. Math analyst okay. to review this, but you're it's right. like one out of four. Okay, yeah. One out of four is a is a four cost. And you if you see 24 cost, then it's times... Uh, yeah. So that's... Yeah, you should see that many... Like five or six four costs. And then you have to divide that by by the amount by the forecast you actually want so i i can't believe you hit fiora 2 and shadow 2 that's that's completely insane so i should have put second row i i pulled it hard. i think i was like like half afk uh yeah i, I literally saw that and i'm like why is my uh yone first row? doesn't matter what's I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Like, when do you sell the Yone and put the Hodge on on Fiora? Uh, when I find another Yone. Okay. I, know, I think I might. I may have even get another Hodge. I think I get another Hodge. I don't see. I don't. By oh, the no, way, no, I get it. Fiora <laughs> is like the the worst forecast carry. If you didn't know that. Really? No, I did not know that. I'm not gonna lie. I did not know that. Because I her... think I know. She... Go ahead. Her shit is super fucking unreliable. All right, that makes sense. She's like a four, I I, I, four cost zigs. That makes sense. I guess I'm used to playing on PvP where she was really good, and I just haven't been updated. But yeah, that makes awesome. I've noticed what, that too. What happened yeah. between PV PV? Very all high cost units. Yeah, I know. I just was not. Uh, yeah, no, that's good information. You're right. Wait, this is on, this is on PVE? No, this is not PVE. No, no, I'm just saying I played a lot on PVE when she was really strong. And I guess I haven't updated my brain to, oh, she fucking is, like, you know, not nearly as good. Because it says PB up here. Over. It says PB up here, but I guess it's not. Oh, I, 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 no. That's literally, I just didn't update, I didn't update it. Yeah. So, not, like, with the Hodge, she would have actually survived and maybe wiped everything, so. Yeah, you're right. I That was literally just me trolling. I, I literally just can't believe I did that. That was, I but, can't believe that. Wow. But you don't, you don't play are, Fiora carry. That, that's, like, another thing. It's, yeah. it's Yone is the star of the show, and Fiora is just... Just there for fun. I have noticed that too. You're right. I've noticed that too. But I wasn't like completely sure of it, but I, I like Cause Yone is like insane if he's in GA state, his clone just wipes everything anyway. Yeah, no, you're yeah. yeah I I believe. So Fiera's doing her thing. Now Fiora's disarmed, now Fiora's gonna ulti, boom, boom, boom. And now she's dead. Yeah. Without the he has a Jace yeah. too. I mean, to be fair, this motherfucker has Jace to it for six. Yeah, but fair. if she had a Hodge, I think she could have healed herself and maybe Oh, oh you sure about that? Oh yeah, no, I could. Like I like don't don't get me wrong, man. Like I I agree with you. I troll. Like there's no other explanation. I fucking troll that. Here, I'm not sure about keeping the, the Yone over the Warwick. Really? You need the fucking Hodge on Fiora. I don't, I don't know if you realize that. Like, oh, that's true. I guess I figured I would find one more Yone. That's honestly what was my, my thing. <laughs> Fuck. You're expecting to have the math. Yeah, I can't. yeah, yeah, no, I know. I, 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 I didn't know the math I know now, is what I'll say. And you just, just get another Hodge. Wow. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> just hit, I, I hit a 7th, though, so I didn't, you know, hit that. I, yeah, I, I was a little busy here. I think I get a... Uh... Interesting. Instead of Warmogs? Really? I, I, don't, I don't know. I was debating, is it Warmogs, or is it, I guess I need the Hodge? Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I was debating... I was debating. I figured. I, I don't know. You're, you're maybe right. I guess I just figured like the random war mugs wouldn't do. It was debatable. I guess I. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I was debating between that. I'm like, is it war mugs or, or banshees? I'm like, maybe if you're already banshees. I don't know. I was a little busy. Um, I do yeah. like the fact that you have some stuff in the back against assassins. That's good. Yeah, that's why I did that. That's why I, did. I saw there's assassin players. That's why. Yeah. I did that. Um, I think Banshees is no longer such a slam because it doesn't block as much damage, and there's a lot more instances of damage, like 
this ulti, this ulti, this ulti, this ulti. It doesn't even block Shaco at all. Yeah. This guy you have get, to this guy you have to beat because he's super weak anyway. I guess I just figured like with Fiora, I might be able to like block like one CC and I could not yeah. that was my thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean it's it's not bad, like Warmox is fine yeah. on, on Braum because he's like a great tank. Uh, Banshees is fine too. Yeah, I, I just figured like I just didn't think it'd be like that. Oh no, he's blocked off. Like, no. Yeah. And I lose. Oh god. Right. Okay. 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 Uh, is Kaisa better than Yone? You know what? Yeah. Okay. Honestly. Okay. So my thing was, I figured. Because it had Hurricane, maybe the Yone was better. Because Yone with Hurricane is so crazy, but maybe I should have sold Yone, put Hurricane, Yone, and Hodge Kaisa. Is that what you're saying? Yes. No, you could have put okay. both items on Kaisa. Isn't Hurricane Kaisa like useless? Why is it useless? She has higher... I mean, it's better on Yone, no? She has higher, has higher base AD and uh, higher attack speed. Well, I guess. I just figured the Hurricane so much better as an item on Yone. In general. It's like his best item, basically. Hurricane and yeah. Okay, it's Yone's best item. It's Kaisa's garbage item or, like, mid-tier item. But it, and it's still better. It's Next better time. on her since, like, Yone has two Academy. The Academy, reason, yeah. The reason why Yone is so good is because you stack him with Academy units. No, no I, I completely agree. My thinking here was I genuinely thought with my board, maybe I could actually hit Yone. <laughs> was my genuine thought. Like, I know I'm, I'm going for the outs here, and I, that's why I was like, maybe, I, maybe that's my out. Mostly because look at the HPs of everyone else. I'm like, I'm gonna if I want to top four this game by a miracle, I have to survive a lot. Okay, okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think if it was a lot closer, I would have done that. But then I'm here. I'm like, dude, even if I win this next round, I have to win like 20 more. I lose this next round, actually, by the way. So it's, we, we're basically done here. Um. So okay. Um. One one more thing. Da -da -da -da. What I'm thinking, I guess you, you don't have any gold, but uh, ideally, with this board, like with this setup, you want to play uh, at least one more enchant, like one more, sorry, not enchanter, socialite. Yeah, that makes sense. For, for mana gain, like I would, uh, but you lose clockwork, okay, if you yeah, like. Yeah, I think this board I can't make it, that was the problem. Yeah, I think I think I hit Ori too. The only reason I agree with you though, but um, I'm just I, maybe like cut Yone for a Taric, and then lose four Challenger. I think ah, uh, maybe that is actually not bad. You get you get more mana. It's like uh, it's close. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It, it's weird. I don't know what's right. But the, the thing the thing is like you even got a replacement Yone. At least at least move the Hodge. At least move the Hodge to yeah. to Kaisa. Now, the, the only reason I didn't do that is because it, I, my thinking was if I'm going to top four this game I have to win a lot of rounds I have to go for it now that's, that was honestly my thinking okay, you're, I you're think not... if, if, if I had Lee Ju dude and the I am Keener dude had like 9 and 10 HP I would have done okay like here you're not going for top four here you're going for sixth that's yeah and that, yeah. My, the thing is because they have so much HP I have to win like two to three rounds maybe does that make sense yeah, you just have to win these two rounds, and like yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. Like I, the, because I had to win two rounds, I'm thinking about like my out is a random ass Yone too. That was honestly my thinking. And it's uh... like I'm going for my out, and it's very unlikely. My thing, my thinking, my my thinking is this: my board's actually not that insanely garbage at five two. Okay, it's not bad. So I actually could potentially win one or two rounds, even with even without doing this. And my thought is like. Like, if I do this play here now, I might still hit a 7th because I have to win 2 rounds. Whereas, like, if I lock shop, I hit Yone 2, I survive, like, if I hit 2 rounds, like, like I, I was going for a bit of a high roll, but I figured, even if I do the other play, there's not even a chance, like, it's not even that much more likely to, like, you know what I mean? It's not much more likely to actually, like, win it. I guess uh, what I was thinking about. Like, the, other, the other play means you can, you might be able to kill one more unit, which keeps you alive for another round, for example. I mean, I get I get boat race here. Okay, way. okay, but it's just like uh, you're trying like maximizing your board would be putting the items on Kaisa. No, because... I, 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 I basically because I saw the Yone too. I was going for a bit of a yeah. high roll just be, just because in the situation I thought 
it's so unlikely I hit a six anyway. It was like a weird thing where I'm yeah. like, okay, I went fine. for fine, 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 fine. Because like the odds of you, uh, the odds of you uh, hitting a Yone is like no, it was ridiculously low, extremely but small. But it was also the odds of even hitting a six or a seven anyway was yeah. out of seven anyway. Although that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay, problem. so then it's like that. You you need the high roll. Fair, fair point. Fair yeah. point. I I get destroyed by this guy. I, it was just like random because this guy's board looks like it sucks, but he just destroyed. I don't know. Miles of is just a bounty. I get. I got TF too. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, imagine if you're playing Miles of Har, right? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Imagine that with with fewer items, okay. you could have been playing Miles of Har on three two. You could have rolled out and hit. Like I, this is like a fucking three two three two board, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, fucking no. yeah. This is I'm, I'm not gonna holy lie. shit. This I is no like Fiora's ass. This is I'm a three two board. Lie. Yeah, this is exactly what I like. Something I this is worse than what you could have had on three two. How you rolled yeah, down? No, you, you're not, I'm not gonna lie. I genuinely didn't know Fiora sucked. I really because I but after this game, I'm feeling it. This this unit does seem kind of inconsistent and kind of bad. Eventually. They have to like so right. fix her, buff her, like do something with her. They they yeah, have to. I also didn't know she sucked. I was, I'm just gonna. That's my one defense. I genuinely did not know if Yara sucked. But the other thing but is I, like the fast eight was a complete grief. No, like you're you're not like yeah. I get where I went wrong here and where I'm kind of going wrong in a lot of my sets is where I'm like thinking way too far into the future. I'm like over planning. I guess is a good way to put it. Yeah, like I'm yeah. over. Yeah. You can go. You can go fast eight if you have a good board that'll get you there. And that like you need yeah. a lot of gold. That's the thing you have to like. I don't know. This is just like mathematical analytical thinking. You gotta kind of learn or just like have certain th certain thresholds you have to get over. Like mm -hmm. you, if you don't get over like 50, 60, 70 gold to roll, mm -hmm. if you don't have that, like even uh, hitting, yeah. even hitting the Fiora here is bullshit. Like. That should not happen. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like, this should have just been an eighth. Like, you shouldn't just hit the Fiora like that. Yeah. I mean, I guess this I mean, guy I have three, dies I have faster. Three, three HP. I think maybe I do. So, like, yeah. I have to, like, go ahead because that one guy is trolling. But... Like, that, that one guy is like, okay, you know what? I'll take the eighth for you, but yeah. Yeah, he, he got me back. But yeah. Yeah, so... no, but I get what you're saying. Like, I, I go, no, that was like, really useful. Uh... And there you go, yeah. Oh, you were already... So that's perfect. So then, then it... Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess you're going for first or eighth here then, right? <laughs> I, I, I will more eighth. I think I went for eighth on that game. I'm not going to lie. But uh, Mr. Uh, XC Unpronounceable got my back. So we're chill. Yeah, okay. No, but like here it yeah, makes... I mean... Here it makes actually no difference whether you're fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's just MMR, which will make my climb a little worse. No, no, here you have zero LP anyway. You can't... No, 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 I know. It, yeah. it lowers my MMR so my gains are overall, like, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. It, it, that, that's why my yeah. games have been so easy now. Oh, that's that's Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 it's going to make climbing a little slower in the future. That's why. I'm, but that's yeah. completely cheating. I just realized that because I lose... I, as I said, I trolled and I, I lost all the games at D4... And now I'm climbing, and it's like, what are these people yeah. even doing? No, it's actually, like, I honestly thought about that. I'm like, I literally thought about that for a while. I'm like, hey, could you just like abuse that really hard? I've been like, wait, isn't that a thing you could do where you get the masters your LP you like purposely int? You play, you like climb the challenge you're playing against like flat player. Couldn't you just do that? I don't know. I think you can. Oh fuck, someone's gonna abuse that. Oh right, games. Anyway, that's why um, the games have been so easy for me because when I when I entered yeah, on. Oh. At, in, yeah, exactly. Holy fuck, that's that's. I int in plat four, and then I easily get to diamond. Then I int in diamond four. I easily get to, to master. I will int in master. I'll go for challenger. Thank you, sir. I will abuse that <laughs> if I can. Fucking prize we're gonna really good. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks so much. It was actually pretty useful. It was a pretty simple thing, but yeah, I mean, it didn't technically answer the thing I started to, but I well, when I started this with, but I realized that like that's probably the big issue is like I'm definitely I have a I I don't judge. When to roll really well, I guess. And I over, like... It's the two things I think that I got from this, right? If you can tell me if I'm yep. missing something. Like, I, do, I have a hard time judging when I should roll and when to push. And also, um, I generally... Uh, what was, one more. My brain. 
Oh shit. Oh god, that was the one. I, there was one more that I completely blanked on that I was. Gonna say. Oh my. God. That was the big one. Um. Yeah, I mean that's just really it. I, I there was another, there was one more. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll it'll get back to me. Also, a scout as much I yeah. used to. I should keep going back to doing that. Um, oh, there was another one in my head that I really um. Uh, I think, like, you saying the math helped me a lot. That actually helped me a lot. That made me understand it a lot better as to how, like, why oh, I don't hit. Things, the but, math, but. I have some fucking, like, I have a lot of math sheets as well. Like, I've done so much of the math because it's, like, the odds of hitting this, odds of hitting that. Math, like, it's, like, I have a... That would help me off a lot. That would help me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That would help me in an enormous amount. Like, I know there's this one site uh, that does that, but it's, like, you have to put in, like, how many there are, and that's really hard to like. No, no, like, no. You, like in between turns, using that's kind of weird. All right, next session, next session. Um, we'll we'll have fun in Excel. I'll help you understand the math behind next all session. this, and I mean that should probably that, help you a lot as well. I mean, next session. I mean, I don't know if I'm because this is, this was thirty bucks. Uh, can I afford another one? Like that's that that that's your call. I mean, that that's your call, obviously. But okay, so just like a quick recap. Do the math. Do the math yourself. Like, you have to do the math. Because, like, the huge, like, the biggest mistakes were the mathematical ones. Yeah, you're right. Where you just kind of expected to hit something, you did hit it, but that's not supposed to happen. Yep, yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'll get your uh, PayPal, and uh, thank you so much. This was really useful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This was, like, uh, a little over an hour. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, see you later, man. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye.